this tutorial is to search by building using the website www.commercialmls.com, the Commercial Brokers Association search page. The building database allows users to search all the buildings in SIBO regardless of whether they have active listings or CMAs, the Commercial Market Analysis Tool. This is the easiest way to obtain building history if you're not sure a building has a current active listing. Like the CMA database and searching off-market listings, this function is only available to SIBA members when they are logged into the system. You'll know you're logged into the system because it says welcome and then your name in the upper right hand corner. To change to the building search type, first click listing type in the upper left hand corner, deselect for sale and for lease, and select building from the drop down menu. The default search parameter is to include all of the asset classes available in the SEBA system. You can narrow this down by unchecking select all and then checking whatever types are appropriate for your search. You can also use other parameters. The most commonly used parameters are available here under the search listings heading. But other parameters are available such as search by market area, search by address, search by radius, and then also under the property heading you may search by property name. Also the map in the center acts as a parameter. You can zoom into the map by double clicking in the area that you're interested in or by using the plus and minus in the lower right hand corner. You can also move the map around to change the physical parameters of your selection. Properties will appear on the right hand side Uh, various abbreviations such as MF or O or R, R is for retail, O for office, M for multifamily, and there is a map key for you in the lower right hand corner. You can see that there are a number of colors to indicate different types of listings and buildings and also a readout of what each individual abbreviation means. Note that X indicates multiple asset classes applied to that particular listing. To select a listing, you can either use the pick list on the right, or you can use these individual tags. Click from the pick list to view the entire property. You'll see the address, property information, comments, images, and then also the history of that particular property. Note that there is both sale and lease history available for this particular image. I can deselect items from my report using the red circle with an X. I can also go back to the map at any point when I have a full listing in the center by clicking the back to map button. Remember that everything on the pick list on the right hand side will appear on any printed report you create unless you deselect those items. If you happen to deselect something that you would like to keep, use the plus icon to the right hand side of the title of that item to add that item back in. Finally, use the create report button in the lower left hand corner and you can select the building history and download that report. When you click the download button, your report will appear in a new tab in the center of the page. We're always happy to help you here at SIBO. You can contact us at 425-820-3348 Monday through Friday from 8 to 5.
There's also a chat live support button in the upper right hand corner that's there to help you again during regular business hours. SIBA would also like to say happy 40th anniversary to its SIBA members. We're very honored to have been serving such a dedicated and passionate community for the last four decades. Make sure to follow the celebration on Facebook and Twitter, where we will be showing SIBA updates and photos from SIBA's past.